Hey guys, Preeson here, and we're back with uh, another Platinum part. Yeah! Okay. So, last time, we got a Pokemon. Let's continue the journey. We already talked to Mom. Sorry, I recorded a day ago. I don't even, I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, I can run boots now. Yes. Okay, so Z's, Z is B. I always forget. All right, let's run and traverse the oh, crap. <sighs> I really don't like him. He, he's really annoying. He's probably one of the most annoying rivals, in my opinion. You're too slow, Preason. <laughs> I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to see Professor Owen, so I can think him properly. Okay. So I did. I had this great idea. Listen up. Do you know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy, I'm sure of it. Me and you, together, we are got nothing to fear. Uh, alright. Cool. That's, um... Go away from me! Hey, Preason, I said the lake, not this way. Uh, okay, I want to see if he would bow with me. Can I run with him? Yeah, come on. Walk faster. Faster, I say. Okay, let's go into the lake. Alright, we're at the lake. Get ready, because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here. It even says so on the sign. Does it? Regardless, how is he going to capture it with no Pokeballs? What's going on? The flowing time. The expanding space. I'll make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep all you can, legendary Pokemon that are like dead. Allow me to pass. Step aside. What was that about? Weird guy. Anyway, let's go catch that legendary Pokemon. Oh, wow, well, yeah, I was pretty much right. Okay, Preston, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. I don't even have to make the noise. It does it for me. Nice. Did you hear that, Preston? That was the legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs. Poke accent E. What? Oh, yeah, there's an accent. Derp. Fail. Yes, Poke accent E balls. <laughs> Sounds funny. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take around with us. Do you think Professor Owen will give us some if we asked? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at the lab if we needed anything. Okay, Preason, I'll race you. First one, Professor Lag. Professor Lag? The lab. And let me pass some guys. See how uh, Piplup is. Don't, 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 don't. Alright, that's the Bidoof. Pretty much the most useless Pokemon in the game. Except for the fact that it's a great TM, uh, HMR beat the crap out of them. Pound. Cute. <laughs> it's a lot better than having to deal with freaking, uh, so what was it? Withdrawal? God, that was annoying. So, you know, all Pokemon games are going to be a little bit of a slow start because, I mean, well, it's Pokemon and I just do pound. That's all I do. Freaking Piplup. Okay. Character wears winter gear. It's not even cold out. It's kind of weird. At least that's what it looks like to me, winter gear. Oh, a Starly. I actually might capture one of those for temporary use. Until I get a different flying type Pokemon. They're pretty much the Pidgey of the game. They do look really stupid. Ah, tackle. Punch. All oh, year, level seven. Liver. Okay, leveled up once is enough. Let's just continue the journey. No need to grind in the beginning of the game. All right, well, as you can imagine, the way to Sanjan Town is this way. Let's go. 
Aw. Wanted to, like, assassinate that guy while he wasn't looking. Oh, yes. There's, um... Ah, oh, crap, I didn't turn on my phone. There's daytime and all those features in this game also. So, um... Times will change, and that will be very important when I, um... When I get a specific type of Pokemon on my team who requires the time of day in order to evolve. Which makes it very... Annoying seeing that I have to I can't change the date and time on the DS itself or I would have to legitimately wait Or I have to go on at the right time of day. I don't think it I don't know if it like locks on to because I mean it is getting dark out where I live mm. While Pokemon lurk in the grass they can come busting out at any time So if you want wanting yeah, wanting into battle while Pokemon just walk in the tall grass All right Oh, jerk? Oh, screw you. You just made me run into another Pokemon. <sighs> Starly. Oh, wait, I can't capture anything yet. Derp. Whatever, just kill it with Piplup. You don't, don't dare kill my Piplup. I kept Piplup will continuously just pound you. That's all it does. You know, I'm just gonna go to Sand Gem Town and kinda. Ah, crap. I have to walk through that tall grass. Oh, I can do it. I can do it, guys. Ready? Maybe if I do what the freaking Aaron said and. Ah, ah, ah. Dang it. Didn't work. Alright, let's just kill this thing. 10 health? I think I can do it. Should be a one hit. Oh, what am I thinking? Ah, pound, go critical, critical, no, oh, did one, worthless, suck it, Bidoof, oh yeah, level eight, Piplum, Burl, Burl, what the hell is wrong with me, Piplum learned bubble, nice, Oh, there's Dawn. Hey, girl. How you, uh, what are you doing later? Oh, there you are. Please come with me. Please come with me. Oh, wait. Did she say that twice? The professor is waiting. Hey. Oh, this is the Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Ah, oh, god dang it. Ah, oh, my nose. My freaking arm. I just switched it. I know, but I don't care. Oh, it's you, Prison. That old guy, he's not so scary much as he is totally out there. Oh, okay. Oh, it doesn't matter, Preston. I'm, I, I'm out of here. See you later. Wow, what was that? Your friend seems to be really weird. I don't know why I'm moving before I can even say what's going on. Well, anyway, let's get inside. Go inside. <sighs> well, well, look who it is. Preston, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Here you go, dude. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Hmm. Trusting you with that Piplup was no mistake, it seems. Professor, would you like to give it a nickname? Hmm. Okay, then. <sighs> Alright, now I'm going to have to start picking my brain right now. There are a total of six members of True Friends Gaming. Now then, with that being said, I am not counted in this six. Because, oh, I am counting the six, so I'm going to have to take me away because I am, in fact, the trainer. Therefore, there's five True Friends Gaming members. True Friends Gaming members. That means that five of my Pokemon will be named after them. Um, I have took the liberty of... Uh, I haven't. They have. Uh, picking three of the, the three of them have picked the people they want to be. And then the two people who are never on haven't, so I'm going to have to assign them. actually haven't think, thought about who I'm going to name who. Um, I know the first three, unfortunately, Piplup is not the one that I was going to um, name. I don't know. Um, could be either Matt or it could be, I mean, Upside Down Grunt. Or it could be Oh yeah, I was going to be Upside Down Grunt. Derp, derp. I'm just going to call it Matt though because I don't like Upside Down Grunt. 
Uh. Aw, oh, crap. Well, um. I was gonna name it Matt, but my extraordinary button pressing abilities have allowed me to press Z instead of X, and Z's B, and X is not. I guess pip flop, pip flop for now. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. The this the other member I was talking to, the other Pokemon will be named after Matt. Unless I don't know where the move renamer is. I'll figure out where he is, and I will. I will figure out the case of who will be named what. Anyway, back to DLP. I was astonished by these foolhardy boys, children. But now you astonish me in an entirely different way. Already there's a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Piplup feels the same way about you. I don't know why it's in all caps, but regardless. Um, that's why I ask you to cherish that Piplup. It's, it's like so obvious. Uh, whatever. I'm so glad that you're kind towards your Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Uh, I just can't say. I guess she's, she's more angry like... If you weren't, I would have had to. Ah, whatever. She, she's. I, did she just like kiss me? What the? Okay. No. She just like bumped this with me or something. Anyway, Professor. <laughs> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name is, as you know, is Rowan. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. No shit. First of all, I want you to know exactly what kind of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, I, um, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is why I wish to ask you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use the record data? Yes. Good answer. Please obtain the Pokedex. Oh, yeah. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Priest and I ask that you go everywhere and meet kind of uh, meet every kind of Pokemon. Pokemon in this region. Every Pokemon in this region. I got one too. When you walk up to 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 years long. 60 long years. God, I'm really bad today. Every now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means that there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Priest and your grand adventure begins now. My grand adventure began last episode. Pokemon that I met for the first time was a Chimchar. If you would have chosen a Chimchar on Route 21, we'd have the same Pokemon now. No, it wouldn't have. Because if I would have chosen a Chimchar, then you would have had a, um, uh, what's it called? A freaking, uh, Turtwig. You lied to me. Now, that it matters, not, not that it matters, but anyway, I'm done. I also help the professor add pages to the Pokedex, so in a sense, I'm just like you. I've just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, person. Okay. See you later, girl. Uh, okay, I thought you were going to say something. Go on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't even bother changing his dialogue. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's talk to this guy. Oh, that's Dawn's father? Oh, I didn't even know that. Is this Dawn's mother? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I wonder if this is a reference to anything, because Professor Rowan invented a new Pokedex working alongside a professor from the Kanto region. Alright. Oh, okay. See, I thought she said she was from the Kanto region and working from the other professor. Yeah, dude, I'm like two feet away from you. I have something good here. You should take this as well. Okay. Yes, TMs already. This is a technical machine. That one's called the move return. Teaches a Pokemon instantly. All right, so TM's pretty much, you use it once. Um, that move specifically does the more more damage, the better, the more friendly the Pokemon is with you. Um, oh, wow, I didn't know the professor had TM's. Was he the trainer when he was young? I, I wanna know how you actually legitimately teach a Pokemon a move from a TM. Do you like stick it in their mouth or something? Like just kind of like a disc flop? Cause they're like discs. Anyway, so, okay, Pearson, I'll act as your mentor. I got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and, and as a, the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. This place that heals Pokemon that have been uh, 
Pokemon. All right, yeah, just I can skip this. So anyway, this is the Pokemon I buy stuff crap here. The best thing they did in black and white was actually mix the Pokemon and the Pokemon Center together. That's right, Preason. Don't you need to let your family know that you'll be happy Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You'll maybe be going far away, so... But before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you later, Don. Alright, uh, but yeah, they mixed the Pokemon and the Pokemon Center together, which actually is a pretty good time saver. Uh, that right down there is the Union area, not the Union area, like the Wi-Fi room where you can connect to online and stuff. And you're not allowed to touch that until you get the first badge. Um, okay. What is it? Okay, I was talking, I was getting my Pokemon. Alright, Pokemon. I hope to see you again. Uh, see you later, woman. Alright, let's run fast. <laughs> Running fast is what I do. Running fast is diddle do. Running fast, I'm avoiding all the tall grass. Running fast, cause it's all I know how to do. Okay. Uh, my house. It's getting sad. Okay. Hey, Mom. What's up? Welcome home, Preason. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear. Um, was that Preason? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? <laughs> okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Preason. I got something that will help you find something useful. Oh, a journal. Cool. I'll catalog all my entries. <laughs> Day 60. <sighs> Me and Jerry can. No one's going to get that reference. <laughs> Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I can go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, Pokemon. Preason. I'll be all right by myself. So you go enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experiences, new sensations, it makes your mother happy, too. Oh, God, Christ. These are so bad. The, the freaking innuendo jokes I can make. Ah. <sighs> But come back sometimes. I would like to see you kind uh, the kind of Pokemon you caught, dear. Ooh, Cinnabon haired lady. Aaron's mom. Excuse me, is my little Aaron here? Oh, he's not? Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy sh shouted about going on an adventure and then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Preason will deliver it to him. Won't you, Preason? No? Oh, really? You'll do that? No, I'll just take what you're gonna give me and sell it to him a parcel but the parcel bye bye priest and enjoy your adventure let me think knowing my boy he'll probably head straight to juba life first okay please take that to Aaron. sure no problem you i don't like you that lady thanks for the free stuff i'm gonna sell it for like billions of pokemonies all right let's go dun, 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 on a journey do 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 that's the one thing... Oh, okay, that was weird. Okay. I thought it made you get out of running mode when you switched to uh, change uh, uh, routes. Okay. Um, something I wanted to talk about fast is they were talking about TMs before, and they added a new feature into this game that's actually pretty cool. It's actually called... It's a move called Recycle. Now, Recycle allows you to reuse TMs that you already used. I forgot how exactly, but... Um, it's just something you can do, and I just want to let you guys know that um, I probably won't be using T, uh, TMs until I get Recycle, just because um, sometimes I like te teaching po uh, moves to my Pokemon, different Pokemon, same move. Uh, example, a really good move I love is Brick Break, and um, I'm going to have a field day with that one. And even stronger TMs, you only get once like Earthquake. Earthquake. So, um, just wanted to let you guys know that, just expect that. My mouse is on the screen. I'm very sorry. If Jordan was here, he would have told me mousey squeak. Okay, uh, how do I get into my, oh, derp. I cannot get used to these buttons. Adamant nature. Alright. Cool. I just want to check out, excuse me, check out my Pokemon. God dang it. No. 
There we go. Okay. On to my... On to Jubilife. Oh, there's Dawn. Hey, girl. What's up? Oh, that's right. Professor... Uh, Priest... God, I'm so... Sorry, guys. Today, I'm really off. Priest, I haven't showed you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll, just show me, I'll demonstrate how to catch one. So, we'll just watch me, okay? I know how... I wish they would give you an option to uh, skip the tutorial, to be honest. A wild Bidoof has appeared. Go, Chimchar. All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna let this, this go because this is a retarded tutorial. You, you, we, it, for anyone who doesn't know, you weaken a Pokemon until they're like a good, like good red health, and um, and then you throw a Pokeball at it and then you capture it. The less health they have, the better. And if they have affl uh, affliction stats like <laughs> paralyze, I don't know if burn's a good one because that would end up killing them. I. Th Think, no, I think burn knocks them down to one health. I might be wrong. Um, poison is another one. And um, uh, paralyze is a really good one. And, uh, and sleep. Or uh, drow. What was it? Is it? Yeah, it's just sleep. So yeah, you put Pokemon to rest. And uh, they'll be easier to catch. Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. Yeah, it is. Important to get Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. This is because a healthy Pokemon is difficult to catch. Uh, and there's higher level to Pokeballs, like an Ultra Ball, Great Ball, Master Ball. Don't use a Master Ball unless you need to. But, um, because I'll instantly catch any Pokemon. But, like, higher level, higher ones can capture lower ones easily or have a better chance of capturing higher level ones. For example, if I were to go back here... Uh, and have a bunch of Ultra Balls. I don't even have to hit them. I can just throw an Ultra Ball and I'll pretty much catch them every time. Anyway, back to the game. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something. By using... Yeah, alright, I said all this. So she gives me five Pokeballs. And I will gladly use them to capture two Pokemon in this area, actually. Um... Do, 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 do. Alright, let's see if I can get... Pokemon. All right. Well, there's a Shinx, and I actually will capture this Pokemon, and it will be on my final team. Now, personally, I don't like usually using such beginner Pokemon like Shinx, or even my starter, to be honest, later on in the game. But to be honest, Shinx is a really good Pokemon, and um, it evolves. It's a Thunder type, a Thunder Thunder Dark type, and evolves into a pretty cool Pokemon. I'm not going to spoil anything on my team stuff. I don't like to show you what they become. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And, uh, I'm gonna be capturing a Shinx. And, yeah. But, first, I have to kill all these Pokemon who are in my way, of course. Like, Bidoof. Freaking Bidoof. Look at that thing. It's, it's a good Pokemon, because it learns stuff like Rock Smash, Flash, uh, Rock Climb, all those moves. And it even learns Surf and Waterfall and Dive, which is really good. How, I don't know. That thing somehow can breathe underwater. Oh, well, Derp, it's a beaver. That makes sense. That's besides the point. Um, so it's, it's a good, extremely good HM Pokemon. But since I have a Piplup and I'm going to have a Flying type later on, uh, uh, Flying type, the two big HM moves that I'm going to have a problem with are pretty much out the door already. Moves like Cut and stuff I can teach to a Pokemon I won't be using as much and then just get rid of it later with a Mover. mover. All right, here we go. Nice, Shinx. Time to drop this Pokemon's health down a bit, and we'll capture it. All right, pound. Wow. All right, that got quite a bit of health down. Uh, let me see if I can capture it like this. There's not... Usually, I would go lower, but it's hard. All right, well, we're good. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we got Shinx. Flash Pokemon. It's an electric Pokemon. The extensions and constrictions of its muscles generate electricity. It glows when it's in trouble. So now we got Shinx. And we're going to give this thing a nickname. This time I'm clicking yes. And lo and behold, this thing's going to be named Chibi. Is 
not gonna be called Chibi Q. It's gonna be called just Chibi. It is a cute little Pokemon too. All right, Chinx, we already got you, man. We don't need you. Go pound. I'm gonna go back fast, uh, get some Pokeballs, and restore the health, and probably start leveling up the Jinx. Or do a XP swap and just uh, put Piplup out in front and let Jinx get the split the experience up a bit, and then um, wait until Jinx level us. Uh, Jinx levels up a bit, and then I'll start using him instead because I'm pretty sure Jinx will probably die against most of the Pokemon in that forest if I'm not careful. Um, I like having ten Pokeballs on me. And the rest will be potions. Okay. Oh, see you later, girl. All right. So, actually, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do a jump cut. I'm going to do some grinding and... Um, if there's anything cool in between, I'm going to keep recording. And if there's anything cool, uh, I will show it in the video. All right. So let me just. Uh... Oh, I never even healed my Pokemon. All right. Well, anyway, guys, I'll be right back. Okay. This is my first Pokemon battle with another trainer besides my rival. It's going to be an epic battle. Let's do this. Try going to lose. Tackle. No, Shinx. Tackle. Tackle again. This is obviously a losing battle. Shinx, sorry, buddy. You're going to have to come back. Go, Piprop. <laughs> so menacing. 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 It's evil, dude. Yes, I won. Uh, it's taking forever to find a freaking starlight. Ah, stupid. <sighs> Maybe this like 300th time is the charm. Nope. Freaking bee doofs. Bee doofs everywhere. Uh, oh my god, yes, sir. It's a girl. The only Starly I've found here so far is a girl. Why? <sighs> If anyone wants to know why I just freaked out, uh, I don't like female Pokemon on my team. And trust me when I say this, I'm not trying to be sexist, 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 sexist. Seriously, uh, it it's just I I don't know what it is. It's just I like no, and I know it's like a sausage. Fresh, like oh yeah, full gosh team. Oh yeah, like no, it's just like uh, it's Pokemon. Uh, because when you breed Pokemon, uh, male Pokemon, what do they get? It's male Pokemon get 
Male Pokemon give up their moves, I believe. Or no, it's male Pokemon, I believe, gives up the ability and female Pokemon gives the nature, I want to say. When you breed Pokemon and make them have sexy sex types. So, yeah. Another Bidoof. Just all oh, there are freaking Bidoofs. Chibi killed them all. Chibi! Chibi, use charge. I just realized I don't even have Spark yet. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes, Starly! Oh, okay, I gotta do this very carefully. Oh, okay, tackle. This one tackle should be more than enough. Okay. I don't know, I'm afraid to do another tackle. Let's just try this. Go, Pokeball! Yes. Yes! Yes! <sighs> Finally, God. Starly, the Starling Pokemon. Because they are weak in, uh, individually, they form groups. However, they brink a bricker. Brick? Bricker? If, group, if the group grows too big. Okay. All right. Uh, Starly nickname. I will give this Starly a nickname. Um... I have no use for it really. It's just gonna be a temporary flying type. Um, so I'll just call it. Uh, call it Kevin. For now. No, no. I'm going to call him Tarviti. Why? Because, well, the other flying type is actually going to be Tarvini. So it just makes sense. So the conversion for you guys will be will be quite, quite simple. Tar. Vit. No, you know what? I don't even like Tar. VD. I'm just going to call him VD. Uh, God dang it. Press... B. V. God dang it. It's taking forever. Oh, wait. Derp. So much easier. Alright, now that we got Tarviti in our party, we're freaking almost set here. I just gotta level up all my Pokemons. Not all of them. I'm just gonna level up, like, Starly. Uh, VD to like a decent decent level decent level